So previously I was showing how with C Sharpen you can have issues with applying certain things even with our new Sharpen C Sharpen or even classic C Sharpen when dealing with multiple bevels it can be a little bit problematic and I didn't even begin to show how it can have issues with vertex bevels on planes then turned into solid shapes with bevels but basically Smart Apply is what we consider or I consider the successor of C Sharpen and the future of applying workflows when it comes to us in hard ops. Smart Apply is located in multiple locations. We can see it here under Operations. We can also see that under Apply Modifiers that control clicking it will run Smart Apply. Under Mesh Tools, we can also see Smart Apply listed here. So we definitely want Smart Apply to be something that the users are aware of its existence and gives a try to when it comes to applying at certain stages of their pipeline. To really show the versatility of Smart Apply versus C Sharpen, we'll delete this cube and I'll Shift A add a plane and we'll first bevel this plane. Notice that I'm able to just bevel with bevel. I don't even have to use quote unquote 2D bevel like older tutorials. We just consolidated that as a behavior as part of bevel. So now I'm gonna control click to add another bevel, press one to adjust my auto smooth. And then I'm gonna control click to add another bevel. So I have a plethora of modifiers already building up on this mesh just to build this shape and get us started. So I'm gonna shift A, add a cube and we'll control click this time to actually set a different bevel to just this area. And then I'm gonna alt click sharpen to fix my shading. And then we'll duplicate this upwards and bring this back and we will um, control click difference again to give it another bevel. But we see that this one may have gotten a little problematic. So what we'll do is control click roll to the previous bevel and just adjust its segments or profile just to make sure that it's not going to rock the boat going up the chain of modifiers. But now we have a merry little chain of modifiers happening here. And just for the sake of sanity, I'm gonna control C, copy it to my clipboard just in case. But if we wanted to apply this, let's run regular C sharp. You know, it's so great now. No, it's not. I can already tell you that this was going to happen. Basically, it's going to try to apply only the booleans while keeping the bevels intact. And because of that, that's causing a very hard computational thing that Blender's gonna to have to come to terms with very fast according to the code that's just been fed to it. So things are not gonna work out for this. And this is one of the things that kind of shows the limitation of the C Sharpen system. And it, especially when we were going forward in 2.8, it showed that we really can't work this way going forward because it's not going to work with non-destructive modeling. People are going to want to stack bevels and booleans and bevels and booleans and work their way up multiple levels and keep everything non-destructive until the end. So a better system has to be found. We have to figure out a way to make this work with users and their current way of working. And that's where Smart Apply comes in. So while that took a brief moment to process, I was sitting here processing what it was going to process. This is actually our result of trying to apply only the booleans and keep only the bevels, which seems like it would be a good idea in theory, but we're going to press control Z and actually go back a step. And that is what you can also expect if you go in and basically run the classic C sharp. And this was a limitation of the system that became apparent rapidly when we got into 2.8. But because of that, we broke everything out into different systems that we could really examine and take forward. But Smart Apply was one of them. So if we go in here and we choose Smart Apply, notice that basically everything's been applied. Seven modifiers were applied, two modifiers weren't, except for the last bevel and the last weighted normal. And what this means is that generally we interpret the last bevel to be the most heavy one as far as geometry is concerned. So if you're wanting to keep a fairly non-destructive type workflow going, but you don't want to actually destroy what you had previously, then maybe this is the type of workflow you may want to try where you work, you apply, you smart apply, and then you're able to just keep going without worry about just absolutely destroying your mesh because of a apply system that just isn't built for applying certain combinations of modifiers. You know, whenever it comes to applying things smartly, there's always such an edge case situation that we're going to run into that there's always going to be a user who's going to use things in such a unique way that there isn't a way to actually deal with such a combination. But with Smart Apply, we can actually work in conjunction with all the modifiers that we currently support to Smart Apply them as needed to actually get the desired result. So right here, I'm actually deforming things with the lattice 
just just to be weird and we'll grab these points at the end and actually scale them down to get a reasonable sized cube and we can actually do the same thing here grab these points and scale them on the z to get a reasonably sized cube even though it's just a longer cube we can go in here and run smart apply and we see that all we're left with is just a weighted normal and that is exactly what it's supposed to do but really when it comes to applying the bevels a new update has been made where basically depending on the distance that the bevel is from the end of the stack it will what it will apply it or not apply it so to show this in action we'll actually move the lattice just a few mods up this is something that we're still in the process of um, getting right with this latest update of hard ops but basically if we use smart applied now it should actually keep the last two or actually I ran the wrong one smart apply and now we see that it kept the last two modifiers which in this case was the weight normal and the bevel so when it comes to deciding which last two to keep the two that we deem the most important is the weighted normal and the bevel weighted normal because if we apply this it will cause issues with cutting in the future so most of our modifiers apply systems are set to basically never apply this unless you intend to have to go into your helper and choose to you know remove the normal that's been hard locked onto it in fact i'm pretty sure right now we have a correction in place that actually prevents such things from just happening but just know that that's why we don't apply the weighted normal modifier at this time but hopefully that gives a little more insight to smart apply and how you can make it work for you by just making it go in and just apply things eventually i want to integrate smart apply into sharpen to be part of that but i am testing it with users to see how it works out with them to ensure that it is a nice integration and that people are able to migrate over to it nicely